Welcome to our video on Stop Cancer, 10 Foods to Avoid Immediately. In the realm of nutrition and health, the impact of our dietary choice cannot be emphasized enough. While we often focus on consuming foods that promote well-being, it's equally important to identify and eliminate those that can potentially harm our health. Among the numerous health challenges we face, cancer stands out as one of the most feared and prevalent diseases worldwide. Research suggests that certain foods may contribute to the development of cancer, highlighting the importance of being mindful of what we eat. In this video, we'll discuss the 10 worst foods that can cause cancer, urging us to reconsider our dietary habits and prioritize health. So grab a seat and get ready to arm yourself with knowledge. Together, we'll explore why these foods have earned a spot on the blacklist and why it's crucial to bid them farewell from our daily menu. Let's get started. A quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only. Always seek the advice of your doctor if you have any medical concerns. First up on our list are processed meats. These savory staples may be tempting, but they come with a hefty price tag for your health. Processed meats include popular favorites like hot dogs, bacon, sausages, and deli meats. Numerous studies have linked the consumption of processed meats to an increased risk of various types of cancer particularly colorectal cancer. One landmark study conducted by the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer, or IARC, classified processed meats as Group 1 carcinogens. That's right. They're in the same category as tobacco smoke and asbestos when it comes to their cancer-causing potential. So what makes processed meats so harmful? It all boils down to the way they're preserved. Processed meats often contain nitrates and nitrites, which are added during the curing process to enhance flavor and extend shelf life. However, when these meats are cooked or digested, these compounds can form nitrosamines, which are known carcinogens. These nitrosamines can damage the cells lining the colon and rectum, paving the way for the development of cancerous growths over time. Additionally, the high fat and salt content in processed meats also contribute to their cancer-causing potential. Diets high in saturated fats and sodium have been linked to an increased risk of several types of cancer, including colorectal cancer. So, if you're serious about reducing your cancer risk, it's time to bid farewell to processed meats once and for all. Instead, opt for leaner protein sources like poultry, fish, and plant-based alternatives to protect your health in the long run. Next on our list are sugary beverages, the sweet sippers that many of us reach for without a second thought. From sodas to energy drinks, these sugary concoctions may seem harmless, but they pack a powerful punch when it comes to our health. Research studies have shed light on the concerning link between sugary beverage consumption and the risk of cancer. One large-scale study published in the British Medical Journal found a significant association between the intake of sugary drinks and the risk of several types of cancer, including breast cancer, prostate cancer, and colon cancer. But why are sugary beverages such a threat to our health? It all comes down to sugar, and lots of it. Sugary beverages are loaded with added sugars, which can wreak havoc on our bodies in more ways than one. When we consume sugary beverages, our blood sugar levels spike, leading to a surge in insulin production. Over time, this can contribute to insulin resistance, a condition where our cells become less responsive to insulin signals, increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes and obesity, both of which are risk factors for cancer. Furthermore, excess sugar consumption can fuel the growth of cancer cells. Cancer cells thrive on glucose, using it as fuel to proliferate and spread throughout the body. By indulging in sugary beverages regularly, we're essentially providing cancer cells with the energy they need to thrive. So, if you're looking to reduce your cancer risk and safeguard your health, it's time to rethink your beverage choices. Opt for water, herbal teas, or homemade fruit-infused water to quench your thirst without the added sugars and potential health risks. Number three are deep-fried foods, the crispy, golden delights that tempt our taste buds with their irresistible crunch. French fries, fried chicken, and potato chips may be a guilty pleasure for many, but these foods pose a serious threat to our health, 
particularly when it comes to cancer risk. Research studies have uncovered a troubling connection between the consumption of deep-fried foods and an increased risk of cancer. One study published in the journal Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention, found that regularly indulging in deep-fried foods was associated with an elevated risk of prostate cancer. But what makes deep-fried foods so detrimental to our health? It all comes down to the cooking process. When foods are deep-fried at high temperatures, they undergo a chemical reaction known as the Maillard reaction, which produces acrylamide, a potentially carcinogenic compound. Acrylamide forms when certain carbohydrates and proteins in the food react under high heat, particularly during frying. This compound has been classified as a probable human carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, raising concerns about its potential health effects. In addition to acrylamide, deep-fried foods are typically high in trans fats. Trans fats are associated with an increased risk of heart disease, inflammation, and, you guessed it, cancer. So, the next time you're tempted to indulge in that crispy treat, think twice about the potential consequences for your health. Instead of frying, consider other cooking methods such as boiling and steaming, which do not produce acrylamide in foods, thus reducing your exposure to harmful compounds and lower your risk of cancer in the long run. Our fourth culprit on the list is charred meats, those tantalizing cuts that have been kissed by the flames of the grill or barbecue. While they may be a favorite for summer cookouts, charred meats come with a side of potential health risks, including an increased risk of cancer. When meats are cooked at high temperatures, such as grilling or barbecuing, they undergo a chemical reaction that produces compounds known as heterocyclic amines, HCAs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. These compounds form when amino acids, found in proteins, react with creatine and sugars in meat at high temperatures. Unfortunately, HCAs and PAHs have been classified as probable human carcinogens by the IARC, raising concerns about their potential health effects. Studies have linked the consumption of charred meats, particularly red and processed meats, to an increased risk of several types of cancer, including colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, and prostate cancer. Additionally, the risk of developing cancer may be higher in individuals who consume charred meats frequently or in large quantities. However, there are ways to reduce your exposure to harmful compounds while still enjoying the flavors of outdoor cooking. Marinating meats before grilling, using lower cooking temperatures, turning meat over frequently, and avoiding direct contact with flames can help minimize the formation of HCAs and PAHs. So, the next time you fire up the grill, keep these tips in mind to protect your health and reduce your risk of cancer. And remember, moderation is key. Enjoy grilled meats as an occasional treat rather than a dietary staple to safeguard your well-being in the long run. Number five on our list is refined carbohydrates. While they may be a staple in many diets, refined carbohydrates have been linked to an increased risk of cancer and other chronic diseases. A study published in the journal Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention found that diets high in refined carbohydrates were associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer. But what makes refined carbohydrates so harmful? It all comes down to how they're processed. Refined carbohydrates, such as white bread, white rice, and sugary cereals, undergo extensive processing that removes the bran and germ, along with essential nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals. As a result, refined carbohydrates cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, leading to increased insulin production and insulin resistance over time. Insulin resistance is a key risk factor for several types of cancer, including breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, and colorectal cancer. Additionally, diets high in refined carbohydrates have been associated with inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which are implicated in cancer development and progression. These processes can damage cells and DNA, increasing the risk of mutations and the formation of cancerous tumors. So, if you're looking to reduce your cancer risk and improve your overall health, it's time to rethink your carbohydrate choices. Opt for whole grains like brown rice, 
quinoa, and oats, which are rich in fiber and nutrients that support optimal health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases, including cancer. Number six on our list is alcohol. Research studies have consistently shown that alcohol consumption is a significant risk factor for several types of cancer, including breast, liver, colorectal, esophageal, and oral cancers. The mechanisms underlying this association vary depending on the type of cancer, but may involve several factors. For example, alcohol is metabolized in the body to acetaldehyde, a carcinogenic compound that can damage DNA and proteins, leading to the development of cancerous cells. Breast cancer is one of the most well-studied cancers in relation to alcohol consumption. Even moderate alcohol intake has been shown to increase the risk of breast cancer in women. Alcohol can disrupt hormone levels in the body, including estrogen, which may play a role in breast cancer development. Additionally, alcohol abuse is a primary risk factor for liver cancer, as it can lead to liver cirrhosis, characterized by liver tissue scarring and increased susceptibility to liver cancer. The risk of developing cancer increases with the amount of alcohol consumed. However, even moderate alcohol intake has been associated with an increased risk of certain cancers. The most effective way to reduce this risk is to avoid alcohol completely. Opting for non-alcoholic beverages is another option. If you do choose to drink, it's recommended to limit your intake. The American Cancer Society suggests that men should have no more than two drinks per day and no more than one for women. Remember, a drink is defined as 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of 80-proof liquor. Number 7. Excessive Red Meat While red meat can be a good source of protein, iron, and other nutrients, research suggests that consuming it in large quantities may be detrimental to our health. Several studies have investigated the relationship between red meat consumption and cancer risk, with a particular focus on colorectal cancer. One notable study published in the International Journal of Cancer found that individuals who consumed the highest amounts of red meat had a significantly higher risk of developing colorectal cancer compared to those who consumed the lowest amounts. The mechanisms underlying this association are still being studied, but several factors have been proposed. One potential culprit is the presence of heme iron in red meat. Heme iron is a type of iron found in animal-derived foods and has been shown to promote the formation of potentially carcinogenic compounds in the gut. Additionally, the cooking methods used for red meat, such as grilling and broiling at high temperatures, can produce harmful compounds like HCAs and PAHs, which can increase the risk of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer. Furthermore, as we've discussed earlier, the consumption of processed red meats, such as bacon, sausage, and deli meats, has been associated with an even higher risk of cancer. While more research is needed to fully understand the relationship between red meat consumption and cancer risk, current evidence suggests that limiting intake, especially of processed red meats, may be beneficial for reducing the risk of colorectal cancer and other cancers. If you enjoy red meat, consider choosing lean cuts choose smaller portions, and consume in moderation. Additionally, incorporating more plant-based proteins like beans, lentils, and tofu into your diet can help diversify your protein sources and promote overall health and well-being. Next on our list are artificial sweeteners and additives, those sugar substitutes and flavor enhancers that have become ubiquitous in our food supply. One of the most widely used artificial sweeteners is aspartame, found in a variety of sugar-free and diet products. Despite being deemed safe for consumption by regulatory agencies, such as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, aspartame has been the subject of controversy due to studies suggesting a possible association with cancer. Some studies conducted in animals have suggested that high doses of aspartame may increase the risk of certain types of cancer, including lymphoma and leukemia. However, the relevance of these findings to human health remains uncertain, as human studies have yielded mixed results and have not conclusively demonstrated a causal relationship between aspartame consumption and cancer risk. 
So what makes artificial sweeteners potentially harmful? One theory is that artificial sweeteners may disrupt the balance of gut bacteria, leading to adverse health effects, including inflammation and metabolic disturbances. In addition to artificial sweeteners, certain artificial additives used in processed foods like monosodium glutamate or MSG have also raised concerns about their potential health effects, including cancer risk. Some animal studies have suggested that high doses of MSG may contribute to an increased risk of certain types of cancer, such as stomach cancer. In these studies, animals that were fed large amounts of MSG over extended periods showed higher rates of cancerous growths in their digestive systems. While more research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects of MSG on human health, some individuals experience adverse reactions to this food additive, including headaches, nausea, and allergic reactions. Given this uncertainty, you may be wondering whether to completely steer clear of these substances. Although the direct connection between these additives and cancer remains ambiguous, adopting a precautionary stance can be prudent. Choosing whole, minimally processed foods and cooking at home using fresh ingredients can help reduce your exposure to MSG and other potentially harmful additives while also promoting overall health and well-being. If you're looking to reduce your intake of artificial sweeteners and protect your health, consider opting for natural sweeteners like honey or stevia. Next on our list are highly processed snacks, the convenient treats that often find their way into our pantries and snack drawers. A comprehensive review published in the journal Nutrition and Cancer highlighted the potential role of highly processed snacks in promoting cancer development, citing their high content of unhealthy fats, sodium, and additives as key contributing factors. But what makes highly processed snacks so harmful? It all boils down to their nutritional profile, or lack thereof. Many highly processed snacks are loaded with unhealthy fats, including trans fats and saturated fats, which have been linked to an elevated risk of cancer, cardiovascular disease, and other chronic conditions. Additionally, highly processed snacks often contain high levels of sodium and artificial additives like flavor enhancers, preservatives, and food colorings, all linked to negative health impacts such as inflammation, oxidative stress, and an elevated risk of cancer. So, if you're serious about reducing your cancer risk and safeguarding your health, it's time to rethink your snacking habits. Instead of reaching for highly processed snacks, opt for healthier alternatives like fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds to nourish your body and protect against cancer in the long run. Number 10. We have canned foods, the convenient pantry staples that have become a go-to for busy households everywhere. Research studies have raised concerns about the safety of canned foods and their potential link to cancer risk. One area of concern is the lining of many canned foods, which often contains a chemical called bisphenol A or BPA. BPA is used in the production of epoxy resins and polycarbonate plastics, which are commonly used to coat the interior of food and beverage cans to prevent corrosion and contamination. However, BPA has been classified as an endocrine disruptor, meaning it can interfere with hormonal balance and function in the body. Several studies have linked BPA exposure to an increased risk of cancer, particularly breast cancer and prostate cancer. BPA has been shown to mimic estrogen in the body, which can promote the growth and proliferation of hormone-sensitive tumors. While many manufacturers have begun to phase out BPA from their products, its replacement chemicals such as bisphenol S, BPS, and bisphenol F, BPF, may pose similar health risks. These chemicals have been shown to have estrogenic activity and may disrupt hormone signaling pathways in the body. Additionally, the acidity of certain canned foods, such as tomatoes and citrus fruits, can cause BPA to leach into the food, increasing the risk of exposure. This is particularly concerning for pregnant women, infants, and young children, who may be more vulnerable to the adverse effects of BPA. To reduce your exposure to BPA and other potential contaminants, consider opting for fresh or frozen fruits and vegetables whenever possible. When purchasing canned foods, 
look for BPA-free alternatives, or choose products packaged in glass jars or tetra packs, which are less likely to contain harmful chemicals. And there you have it. The 10 worst foods that could be contributing to your risk of cancer. Remember, making small changes to your diet can have a big impact on your overall health and well-being. So, let's kick these foods to the curb and embrace a diet rich in whole, nutritious foods. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips on living a healthy lifestyle. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.